My name is Ruben Nepalas, a uh, rapper. And congratulations on the show. In this age of short attention span, social media, and instant gratification, why do you think uh, token stories continue to appeal to all of us? I think that they have enduring themes. There are things in Tolkien stories which will forever be relevant to the human race, I think. Um, you know, it's just our story and the stories we've seen adapted on screen and the stories in the Legendarium are stories of hope and, and love and um, the battle between good and evil and the grey areas that lie in between there. Um, we, we, I always keep coming back to it. Like, I, I watch yeah. it and I'm like, oh, like I, it fills some sort of void in me. And like, I always just end up going back to it when I'm feeling a little low or dark because it just fills me with hope. There's always like light at the end of the tunnel when I, whenever I watch it. And so it's, it's amazing to be part of this, yeah. you know, something that connects and continue the legacy of, of Tolkien. Tyrone? Oh, um, I think it's a, it's a really special, special story. And um, I think throughout, throughout the ages, I think we're all just as human as we, we were just as human as we were 50 years ago. And I think that's why the stories will still resonate because the, the essence of human connection is what I think mm. it's, it's based on and I think we can relate to. And um, yeah, I think our show does the very same thing. Charlie, you had to take free diving mm. lessons and mm. horse, a lot of horse. <laughs> yeah, horse I did, yeah. Uh, for the series. <laughs> what were those experiences like? Uh, it was it was a <laughs> challenging time. I mean, but it was also really rewarding and fulfilling by the end. I think we went through, I mean, a lot of training in order to in order to do to do the underwater sequence and the water sequence and then um, it was a pretty amazing experience to be able to learn, do these things as part of your job and develop your skills in these areas. The same, I mean, I think Max yeah. got to horse ride as well quite a bit, which was, you know, we got to horse ride together a bit, which was really cool as well. That was quite bonding, wasn't it? Yeah, lots of riding. Yeah, lots of riding together. Hmm. And Tyra, I understand that you had, you did commercials before, but this is your first big major series. So what were your first few days on the set like? Oh, it was, it was, massive for me it was like it was like a whole new world opened up to me because you know i i thought i knew what it was like to work in front of a camera but i didn't know what it was like to work in front of a 4k camera with a fake sun to my left mm. and um you know fake moon to your right yeah fake moon and then hundreds of people <laughs> like making sure that i look good um never had that before but um it's a, it's a really 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 great privilege and i'm so blessed um to be able to be a part of this, and especially at my age, um, I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful. Learning a lot from your peers. Yeah. yeah learning a lot from us. And my yeah, class yeah, yeah. Just like so, much, yeah, so much. So much, yeah. And Charlie, you had to eat a lot of salami in your screen oh test edition in Morbid. So can you tell us about that? And yeah. how does salami, salami appeal to you this, this day? Never, never again. I haven't touched <laughs> salami since, actually. What? In the screen test with Mordvith, we had to, there was salami in the scene, or Hal, Halbrand was eating in the scene, <laughs> which was then cut from later scripts. But uh, it, yeah, it, uh, that was, it was big, because I had to eat the salami, and we did like 50,000 takes. So every time I ate the salami, there was a, one guy, poor guy on set that had gloves, <laughs> because I couldn't swallow the salami, so we had to keep coming up at the end of each take. This for me to spit the salami back into his hands and then he just takes the food. I think he probably hates salami just as I much know, as I know, he would have been that. gone. Yeah. <laughs> and for my last question, have you read The Lord of the Rings before this year's or did you do a mad scramble to read it when you landed the role? I, I'm a, yeah, I read it after I watched the movies. Yeah, I hadn't read it, but it, luckily it wasn't, I had a lot of time to, so, to prepare, so... It wasn't as much of a mad scramble. I had, a, yeah, time to read. I found I found it really, really hard to read. I find it hard to read as like as it is. Um, but I, I watch all the films and I've read The Hobbit. But I haven't read the trilogy. But I'm I'm working on it. It'll it'll be done soon.